Ask the bedheads. That's us. We're the tree and shrub bedheads. We eat, sleep, and breathe this stuff, and it's all we ever think of talk about. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Colin, we got a question from a, from a new friend um, who asked the following. My neighbor next door topped out his shoe mart oak trees, and our HOA is saying as long as they bloom, they think she means bud, there's nothing they can do because they're not considered dead. My question is, could they possibly spread oak wilt? Um, not only are they an eyesore, but I'm concerned about disease. Um, can you tell me your thoughts as an arborist and educate me, please, because I'm concerned about my own trees, as you know. Side note, they were covered in bagworms. And this appears to be a, um, a fairly mature, um, probably, I'm guessing about a 15 inch um, oak, right. um, probably a live oak. I know that the customer in question, or the customer that sent this has uh, live oaks in front of their house. So looking at um, the distance uh, between the, the, the topped tree and her trees, to answer the question about oak wilt, if a neighbor tops a tree, are you more likely to get oak wilt in yours? No, no more likely than if you just, if your neighbor did a proper pruning. What right. can transmit oak wilt is two things. One is the tree already has oak wilt and it moves to another tree due to roots that naturally graft together. Right. So like in South Texas, you'll see these big stands of post oaks out in the fields. Those are all basically one big super organism. There's a lot of grafted roots and so what affects one tree can easily move to another. Um, so when one tree has oak wilt in a grove of trees, the solution is we got to dig a six foot deep trench and isolate that tree and remove it. Um, but in this case, the tree's so far away, it's very unlikely, if not impossible, that uh, oak wilt could move through root grafts. Right. Additionally, it won't jump species. A red oak doesn't graft to a live oak that I know of. Um, now, because they opened up all these wounds on that tree, um, it is possible that at this time of the year, we, um, we become concerned about wounding oak trees because of the flight of what's called a netidulid beetle. Um, it can carry oak wilt from one tree to another when it senses the, the tree has an open wound. Um, that would be a concern, but it'd be a concern on any pruning. I would be more concerned Absolutely. about a neighbor that had red oak firewood in their backyard than a neighbor that topped their tree. So the short answer is don't ever top your trees for any reason. Um, but if a neighbor tops their tree, are you more likely to get oak wilt? No, but I would encourage that you put your tree on some kind of a basic fertility program, keep it healthy. Um, the best defense uh, to, uh, to plant disease is, um, is healthy plants. Right. That makes sense. So you're telling this client they don't really have to worry about this as long as they keep an eye on their tree? No, I would say just monitor it um, and, uh, and see what happens with those neighbor's trees. Um, that's a shame. Um, so if you have any questions like this, we love answering them. Um, please send us a photo, send us a video, shoot us an email. And we'll answer this in a video. Um, we love doing it. Um, so they'll stay safe out there.